Hi dear students a warm welcome to learn prose lesson from your 8th standard english book unit 3 prose sir isaac newton the ingenious scientist written by nathaniel hawthorn nathaniel hawthorn was born on 4th july 1804 in united states he was a novelist dark romantic and short story writer His fiction works are considered part of the romantic movement especially dark romanticism. His themes often center on the inherent evil and sin of humanity and his works often have moral messages and deep psychological complexity. His works included novels, short stories and biographies. Some of his famous works are The Birthmark, Young Goodman Brown, Twice Told Tales, The Scarlet Letter, and The House of the Seven Gables. He died on May 19 in 1864. Dear children, let's now first learn the synonyms to make our understanding easier. and then continue with the lesson about sir isaac newton curiosity eagerness absorbed engrossed earnestly sincerely ingenuity creativity wonderful fantastic perfect flawless endow provided pride arrogance endurable tolerable acquiring getting devote dedicate confessed admitted admiration respect seized stopped believe trust okay children let's now go with the lesson about sir isaac newton let us learn this lesson in few different parts number 1 his birth and early years Isaac Newton was born on Christmas Day that is on 25th December in the year 1642 at the small village of Woolsthorpe in England. Isaac's father died. His mom remarried a clergyman, leaving Isaac to the care of his grandmother who was very kind and loving to him. At the age of 5 His grandma sent Isaac to the village school. About 6 years later, he was sent to King School in town, which was 7 miles away from his place. Initially, he was poor in his studies, but after beating up a bully, he worked hard to become the head of the class. Here at this time, his creativity started flourishing let's move on to the second point newton's creativity during this period he began to show his creativity and inventions he was mostly found with a set of little tools and saws of various sizes manufactured by himself isaac created many curious articles working skillfully with his tools and it seemed that he was born with a saw or chisel in his hand he had done lot of wooden models carved sundials drawers and built a water clock his old grandmother was very happy and proud of him and she believed that one day he would be rich man in the world Isaac Newton's playmates always admired his toys. Seeing his abilities, some of his friends suggested or advised his grandmother to apprentice him to a clockmaker because Isaac had not only the mechanical skill but also he had a taste for mathematics. which was very useful in the profession of clock making indeed he has already made a clock not by wheels or weights 
but by the dropping of water. Besides the water clock, he also made a sundial. They say that the sundial is still in existence in Isaac's house. He possessed a wonderful knowledge by simplest means. By jumping against the wind, he could calculate the force of a gentle breeze, a brisk gale or a tempest. This shows that even in his boyish sports, he was continuously looking for the secrets of philosophy. Next, point number three. Let's move on with this windmill. There was a windmill near his grandmother's house. Isaac used to spend a lot of hours in examining the parts of the windmill. He investigated the internal machinery parts when the mill was at rest. He watched or observed every process of the mill. Every process of the mill stones were made to revolve and crush the grain that was put into the hopper. After gaining or getting thorough knowledge, he started constructing his own windmill model. No doubt he created a small working model of the windmill. Though it was not so large, it converted a handful of wheat grains put into the little hopper into a snow white flour. When Isaac was sure nothing lacked in the windmill, one of his friends said, it lacked a miller. Isaac admitted to look out for one, accepting the feedback positively. Number four, Newton at Cambridge University. When he was 14 years old, Isaac's education was interrupted by his mother, who became a widow for second time. She attempted to make him a farmer but he was interested in studies. So he was eventually sent back to prepare for college. He enrolled at Trinity College at Cambridge in 1661. During his college days, Newton divided a notebook into 45 sections to make notes of things he wanted to know about. And he received his bachelor's degree in 1665 and continued his master's degree there itself. When he grew older, it was found that he had far more many important matters in his mind than the manufacture of toys and windmills. Isaac was the first to find the nature of light. When an apple fell on his head, he discovered the force of gravitation. He tracked the orbits of the planets and stars on the sky. When he was doing his researches, he spent all nights on a tower, gazing the heavenly bodies through a telescope. His mind was above this world. He spent most of his life in the world that lie millions of miles away. In 1671, he joined the Royal Society of London after building an improved version of the reflecting telescope. In 1684, a scientist urged him to write about how a planet moves in a certain orbit. So, he published a three-volume book known as Principia in the year 1687, which detailed the laws of motion and the law of universal gravitation. In 1703, he was elected as the president of the Royal Society of London. Then he published his writings on his early experiments with light in a book called Optics. Isaac was a very old man and a renowned thinker. He was made a member of parliament and awarded the highest honor of knighthood in the year 1705. 
and he was then known as Sir Isaac Newton. Number five, his last day. Sir Isaac Newton, who never cared for name, fame, honor, and felt no pride in his wide skill, ability, and knowledge, died on 20th March in the year 1727 at his age of 85. He has left an endurable name behind him, that is, his name is written in letters of light formed by the stars in the mid sky. Mr. George and Mr. Temple believed and remarked that if Isaac had lived longer, he would have found all the other inventions of today too. So dear children, shall we summarize the lesson in few words? Yes. Isaac Newton was born on 25th December 1642. In 1653, he started creating or uh, working with working models. In 1665, he began to work on light, gravity and calculus. In 1669, he invented the reflecting telescope. In 1672, he became a member of the Royal Society. In 1687, he published the book Principia. In 1705, he received the knighthood. And in 1727, Sir Isaac Newton passed away from this world. Dear children, students of today are the scientists of tomorrow. Like Sir Isaac Newton, try to involve yourself in your interested field with passion, commitment and dedication. First to acquire knowledge and then to give something useful, better, newer and greater for your future society. So children, read the lesson repeatedly for better understanding. Study well. Happy learning. Thank you.